Most days in the desert, a wind kicks up in the late afternoon. Maybe it's a prompt to let the mountains know that it's time to turn purple. It cools off in a hurry then, and the larger animals start thinking about dinner. Something snorted in my ear. A javelina. When I moved, he vanished. I rolled the sleeping bag and stood up. The mountains had taken their cue from the wind and were once again the color of plum wine. The long shadows of the saguaro made the desert floor a bizarre patchwork. I faced west. Behind and below me was the city. In front of me was something I failed to recognize. My destiny. At that moment, my personal compass had been reset and it only pointed one way west. I'd had enough of crowds and subways and concrete. Couldn't give a shit about Broadway or the Met or the many cultural diversions that some New Yorkers find so necessary. That desert, those mountains, the two-lane blacktop, that lonesome yet rapturous feeling of being the last guy on this spinning ball hurtling through space, they gave me a thrill no front row ticket ever could. A Peterbilt whined in the distance. For a minute, I actually thought I might stick out my thumb, see where I ended up. It would be quite some time before I was finally able to return to the West and not just for a visit. But in the interim, I still had much to do in the East. There were pointy chicks and mobsters to meet, a band to front, nutty jobs to do. It all worked out okay. <laughs>